Thomas, the team of Jack, Jack Jaworski and Mike, Mike Plessis from, from, from Pittsburgh's Catholic. In second place, the team of Jack Trio and Pat Carroll from Pittsburgh's Central Catholic. And our Black Hawk Commission champions with Cross X from Ethel Park, the team of Shannon Fagan and Jared Sigmund. Uh, 
Which one first, extend or PF? Yeah. Upper St. Clair, B.J. Vishwanapal. 
Zhang. In fourth place, from North Allegheny, Abby Merrill. In third place, from Glen Oak, Brooke Hisbridge. From second place, from Mount Lebanon, Daniel Plusky. And in first place, from Ken McKinley, Pedro Mejia. Rachel Mish. In fifth place, 
from Shikalemi High, Daniela Snyder. <laughs> from Mount Lebanon, Mark Clement. <laughs> from Upper St. Clair High, Judel Perret. <laughs> Second place from Danville, Sean Gregory. And first place from Mount Lebanon High School, Nikki Cohen.
they're not here. Um, from Glen Oak, Victoria Kuster. From Mercer, Janelyn Miklos. Uh, from Keystone Oak, Sierra Chef Diplom. From Shackalone, Taryn Daly. From Upper St. Clair, Robert Park. From North Allegheny, Liz Fariga. From State College, Teresa Donnellan. And from Shackalone, Nick Flowers. Okay, so the semi-finalists from Baldwin, Nigel Armbruster. From Pine Richland, Patrick Tobin. From Mount Lebanon, Diana Lee. From Canton McKinley, Alexis Fletcher. From Shackalone, Shelby Snyder. And from Wheeling Park, Jen Tan. Okay, I know this. In sixth place from Shackalami Daniela Snyder. From fifth place, for fifth place from Pine Richland, Maggie Dittmore. Fourth place from Quigley, Anthony Cunts. Third place from Mount Lebanon, Maddie Scott. Second place from Danville, Kira Bowen. And first place from Wheeling Park, Stephanie Lamaster.
Wexel. From Pine Richland High School, a team of Solvich and Zerg. From Canton Central High School, the team of Lab and Heretta.
Yeah, all right, we will be sending new plates for your trophies. All right, so on that note. Okay, so they're actually semi-final trophies, but they took the wrong plates, huh? They're the right second. And now, on to semi-finalists in the area of drama. From Canton Central Catholic High School, Alyssa Lombardi.
Faithfulness in attending practices and tournaments is remarkable. First to roll up sleeves, her, her sleeves, how's that for a hint? When there's a job to be done, the last person to quit working. Mother hen of the newbies. Officer of the team, junior and senior year. Active in church youth group, but does not diminish speech and debate. Seeks, uh, seeks out challenging pieces that test and expand her abilities. Most tellingly, chooses pieces that say something. Her selections usually take a stand against injustice and human indifference. They, and it says, all of us who know her can attest to the fact that Maggie Dickmore, come on down. Your daily actions also take such a stand. Maggie Dickmore. <laughs>
and I said, here's one more award. Unfortunately, it didn't come yet, but this goes to someone that my students determined that absolutely had to be recognized at this tournament. And for that, um, I'm just going to ask Maddie, why don't you come up and explain why we're honoring this person? All right, today at our tournament, we've decided to honor Miss Mary Garber. Um, she is extremely instrumental in our team. She comes to practices. She offers invaluable advice to both speech and debate competitors. Not only that, she sacrifices almost every Saturday of her year to come and spend the day with us and judge at our tournaments. Not to mention that, she puts with up with us on the bus ride home, which is a feat that nobody should have to undergo. Um, as Mrs. Erson mentioned, the award did not come in. However, we do not want to let her go home empty-handed, so we decided to give her something of a special award. So I'd like to introduce to you Sassy the Moose. Is it 
includes each and the bay. The truck, the plaques are a name in honor of my very best friend and the sister I never wanted, uh, and, and who was the uh, longtime champion, uh, champion of speech and debate within the state and the longtime chair of the Pittsburgh District NFL. Um, so uh, the Peggy third place, yes, there is a plaque this year, guys. Uh, in overall, the Peggy Ann Madden Award goes to Danville High School. <laughs> Second place in overall, 384 combined points, North Allegheny. And the tournament champion, Upper St. Clair. <laughs> for the Bethel Park Cheerleaders and Boosters 22nd Annual Spring Fashion Show that benefits Special Olympics Allegheny County. This year's An Evening in Paris theme show will be held on Sunday, March 11, 2012 at Independence Middle School's Auditorium. Doors open at noon. Tickets are $5 for adults and $3 for students. Due to the incredible support of the community for this annual event, all organizers and participants are volunteers enabling all proceeds to go directly to this very worthwhile charity. Last year, the Fashion Show accumulated in a donation of more than $10,000, raising the BPCBA's total donation from the past two decades to more than $148,100. 
Your support on behalf of this very important cause will help to raise money to enrich the lives of Special Olympic athletes throughout Allegheny County. Through your support, these very special athletes will be given opportunities to train and compete in 19 different sports and 22 throughout the year. Each year we invite an ambassador to participate in this exciting charitable event. This year we have two special guests. We are pleased to introduce our 2012 Special Olympic Athletes. Here is Jessica and Ben. Both Jessica and Ben live in Bethel Park and are part of our community and schools. There is a wonderful afternoon planned with fashion from many local retailers. Please come to see us model at the fashion show while you help support Special Olympics Allegheny County, which has done so much to support me and my fellow athletes. There is also a fabulous basket auction and light refreshments. Our primary source of fundraising comes from the basket auction segment of the show, where the baskets are comprised of items donated by local businesses. We hope to see you at the 22nd Annual Bethel Park Cheerleaders and Boosters Fashion Show, benefiting Special Olympics Allegheny County on Sunday, March 11th, commencing at 1 p.m. at Independence Middle School. For tickets, please see any Bethel Park cheerleader or call 412-833-3048. Please support Special Olympics. Go Hawks! Her parents weren't even sure she'd make it to her fifth birthday. But because someone like you took the time to give their unique gift of blood, this little girl was given a second chance at life. Help save the life of someone right here in Western Pennsylvania. To find a nearby location where you can donate blood, visit centralbloodbank.org or call 1-866-DONORS-1. I'm Mike Ryan. I'm the father of a former Bethel Park athlete. We were fortunate enough to have BPTV cover our home games. We took one of the CDs and forwarded it off to different coaches of schools my son was interested in. We had an immediate response and my son was now very fortunate to be able to play college ball. And I credit BPTV for that. So I would recommend that you get a hold of your heads of boosters and talk to them about doing home games. It makes for a great recruiting tool. It's also a great gift for grandma and grandpa, and it's also a great keepsake for years to come. Contact BPTV and help them help you. Hey, uh, you ready? Of course I am. What are you waiting for? I was waiting for you. So we're gonna continue the puppy thing real quick. Okay, places everyone. In a minute! Do I have to do everything myself? You can't do it all by yourself. Um, I'd say that... Sure I can. I... No, he can't. 
and neither can I. So why don't you come on down to BPTV and help us make some of the great community programs you see on this station every day. Yeah! I mean, we can help you make your TV show ideas a reality. It's pretty awesome. So come on down. I mean, I am pretty good. But I'm sure I can use your help.